What is that? Um, infidelity, um, uh, men using uh, men in very much uh, tra- infidelity on part of the woman. Women cheat more than men. Far more. Come on. Far, far more. Come on. Uh, far, far. And the, why do you think women cheat more than men? Uh, because they're in denial about the infidelity. When they cheat, they don't even label it as that. When if a woman starts cheating, <laughs> what do they, they label it as? They label it as my husband's no longer satisfying me. They won't even say I'm cheating. They'll say my husband isn't satisfied. They find a way to redirect and shift the terminology so that they are void of guilt. Really? Yeah, absolutely. So how do how do we know women are cheating more than men? What is it like? Uh, is this I, public knowledge? Is there well, surveys? Or are you just hearing this from the people you're coaching? The people I'm coaching, because firstly, you'll know, it's simple signs that you'll know. Firstly, when the guy, the, I, I always say infidelity is a result of men not being masculine and women not being feminine. And what I mean by this is if a woman is cheating, it's because she has a man that accepts unacceptable because he is unwilling to walk away when his boundaries are broken. So what will happen is when women meet that man, with a good woman with good morals, and this, she doesn't want that man. She's like, I don't want to weaken. She'll, she'll leave. She'll leave. She'll replace him with somebody who has boundaries that suit her morals. But a woman but she won't cheat because she'll have the values cheat. of like, this isn't working, it's sad. No, I don't want but somebody But I'm not going to cheat week. while I'm with you no desire to yeah, cheat yeah. she's not a sexual being yeah and that's so she's looking for somebody who can lead a household but the woman who's planning to come home late all the time and planning to go on a bunch of holidays and planning to keep in touch with her ex and planning to post a bunch of provocative pictures online he's perfect he's perfect 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 because he'll maybe pay for everything he'll maybe sort the house out maybe give her the kids he's perfect so that and she can keep getting the validation from all these other men whoever in she ways. wants and he'll say, oh, babe, I don't really like that bikini picture. And she'll say, stop oppressing me. And that will be the end of the conversation. And that and she'll carry on doing what she wants. And he'll say, oh, are you going to come home today? I'll come home when I want. And that's what he, he'll say, okay. And because she recognizes he doesn't have the willingness to walk away, when the man isn't masculine, he's, his days are numbered. His days and good women filter themselves off or away from men that are too agreeable. Now, when women get cheated on, Again, it's a lack of femininity. And what I mean by that is, honestly, what I noticed with married men that cheat, it's not that they love somebody else so much or they uh, they found someone more beautiful. They simply have a wife that is no longer catering to their needs in any way, shape, or form. What type of needs? Their sexual needs? Their intimacy needs? Their uh, supportive needs? All kinds of needs. So what I mean by that, it could be as simple as there's a coffee ready because you're going to work. Or, Or it could be as deep as, I haven't slept with you in six months. It's his needs no longer matter. And it's really difficult. I understand when you have kids and stuff like that, it becomes difficult. Is it when he feels his needs don't matter or he's communicating what he wants and she's not he, willing to provide that? He's saying it. He he's is, saying it and he's, she's just like, I don't have time for this or she's saying, busy or whatever. He's often saying it, but she's also not predicting his needs. And that's part of femininity. Mm. Part of femininity is I know he's coming home. Let me just warm up a bit of food. Or I know that he's got work at an early start. Let me just iron that shirt quickly because he's going to make a mess if he does it. You know, it's part of femininity. What would the feminist movement say to that? I'm just curious. Uh, they would argue that it's not your, he's not a baby. That's what they would say. Men are not babies. But here's the reality. They are. In a lot of ways, they are. In a lot of ways, they really are. <laughs> I can be are. a baby sometimes, but You yeah. know what it is? It's something about... I, I don't understand this myself, but there's something about... They, they could be hungry or whatever it is, but when their wife makes them a meal, it tastes totally different to whatever you could order or whatever they could order themselves. Or when their wife... Eh? There's a love to it. There's, an, uh, there's a support behind being it. Being seen. Yeah. It's being seen in a way that nobody else sees them. There's something about like, you, of course you can make your own coffee in the morning, but there's something about your wife just putting it there without you asking for it that just makes you feel seen. Now, what I notice is when women do, forget to do that, they create... They set the tone for a man to now go towards escorts. And I'll tell you why. Because they're almost creating a transactional relationship. They're making him feel like an ATM anyway. If, right. Yeah, if He's he, like, I'm not getting my needs met. I'm paying for everything. I'm paying for everything. And I'm being disrespected, maybe. Yeah. Or whatever. I'm an ATM. Interesting. I'm already an ATM. Whether uh, that's okay or not to no, think no, no. that way, that's just that's the interpretation. That's the way he sees it. So if I'm coming home and she doesn't even notice I'm there, she's never cooked a meal, she's never asked me how my day is, but I'm paying for everything and I'm giving her a great life, I'm already an ATM. I might as well be an ATM to somebody who's going to touch me and right. kiss me Serve and look at me. Serve my sexual needs or something. Exactly. Yeah. Who's going to look at me. At least pretend. At least. Even if at least I, even act for an hour, Exactly. Right? And, they, and the worst thing is escorts and sugar babies and stuff, 